Welcome to this Save Your Photos Month mini class, all about the best duplicate photo removing software with me, Amanda Littlecott from Clearbubble Photo Organising. It can be really easy to duplicate your photos in your catalogue. You send it via WhatsApp, you take a copy, you put it on your phone and your computer, and then when you consolidate everything together, you end up with a mass of duplicate photos. Don't know where to start finding all those duplicate photos? Well, there is a range of software and apps out there that will do the job for you. They scan the folders and files that you tell it, and they highlight where you have duplicates. It is that simple. In this video, I'm going to talk you through some of the best duplicate photo software out there that you can get for Mac and PC, focusing on seven key areas. The file types they will work with, the interface look and feel, the ease of file reviewing, the auto marking capability, so you can tell some of the software where you want it to focus its marking, the ability to protect a folder of precious photos that you never want to be deleted, like a professional photo shoot, and the software drawbacks and any other extras it can do. Option one, Dupe Guru. Dupe Guru is overall not very epic, but it is totally free and works on both PC and Mac. So it's worth an investigate if you are just starting out on getting rid of all those duplicates. It works on all different file types, from documents to pictures and even music. The interface is really simple and incredibly basic. To review the output, you can see the pictures by clicking on them or using the keyboard shortcut. But you can't just see an image while scanning down the list. You can influence how it marks your duplicates with filter hardness and you can ask it to match pictures that are of different dimensions. To protect a folder you don't want to delete from, you can put it in the ignore list, which means it won't be scanned against your main catalogue. So you could end up with duplicates elsewhere. Not exactly what we want. There isn't really any added extras when it comes to Dupe Guru, mostly because it's free. So it is simple and free. For me, it is just too basic and you could end up spending quite a lot of time going through and reviewing the photos because of the minimal amount of auto marking you're going to be able to do. You could save a lot of time with a bit of investment, but if simple and free is what you need, then give it a go. Option two, Photo Sweeper. PhotoSweeper is an app for the Mac that with a small one of investment, you can be doing some pretty powerful searches of your photos for duplicates. It works with files, photos and videos. However, as you can see by the name, photos is where it really comes into its own. The interface is slick and easy to use with a drag and drop. It can take a bit of playing around to get used to the menus that you need to be able to use. But once you have the knack of it, you will be flying. From an ease of review, you have three options to be able to review its duplicate suggestions. One by one, face to face or everything all in one. You can make the thumbnail images big or small so you can review as quickly or as slowly as you want. For auto marking, you have a ton of options that you can use. There is a whole great big long list that you can use to influence how it auto marks and the sequence that you want to look at each element. So if you want to look at the file size first and then the length of the file path, you can do that. Although for a newbie, it can feel a little bit overwhelming. To be able to protect a folder, you have a few options that you can do. Either once you run the photos through the menus or you can use side by side process where you lock a folder so it doesn't auto mark from the start. The real bonus with PhotoSweeper is that you can deduplicate all of your photos in your for Apple Photos catalogue without having to extract them first. PhotoSweeper will just look right into your photos catalogue and rather than trash them, will create an album of all the stuff it thinks you should delete. When it comes to PhotoSweeper, the drawback is that I have found that it's not so great when working with videos and sometimes it gets a little bit glitchy, so I have to take the matching level right down to get it to identify duplicate files that I know are there. For me, PhotoSweeper is the go-to tool for the Mac, especially if you're going to be using Apple Photos, but you need to keep a beady eye out for those videos because it's not particularly great with them. Option three, Duplicate File Finder Pro. 
Duplicate File Finder Pro is another Mac-only app with a one-off cost, but it is twice the price of PhotoSweeper. However, the added extra that it can do is the reason I keep it on my Mac. It works on photos, videos, documents, music, you name it, it can do it. The interface is really easy to use. You just drag and drop the folder to review and you get a nice bar graph or a pie chart of a summary of the files that you've given it. Then to review, you can see how many files are in each group and the images involved, as well as seeing the images side by side if you want. From an auto marking point of view, it has a similar list of areas you can influence like Photo Sweeper, but not quite as long. However, it does include a rather nice auto mark that you can ask it to select HEIC files, which are only useful if you're working in the Apple environment. So a great way to find them and get rid of them. When it comes to trying to protect a folder, this is where it's not so great. You can ask it to skip a folder similar to Duke Guru, but again, it means you could still have duplicates that are sat in the catalog as they are not being compared against the skipped folder. The drawback is that it can be slow to review due to the interface and seeing the images and files. So I've tended to use it to find documents rather than find duplicate photos because this is where it really works. But it is the added extra that I love for it. There is a sneaky file merging option that you can use to merge files that have the same name into one folder with a simple click, which is great for consolidating all of your catalogue into one lovely structure. In my view, Duplicate File Finder Pro is my go-to for finding duplicate documents rather than photos, as the ease of review is just not there but it is worth investigating for the file merging capabilities alone. Option four, Gemini 2. Now I seem to have gone a bit Mac heavy here, but as one of the major players in the market, I couldn't ignore Gemini 2. Now it is the most expensive of all the programs. You can pay as a one-off cost and then pay for any upgrades that you want or as a yearly subscription where it will continue to upgrade itself. So it's not cheap, but you can try a free downgraded version to see if you like it before you buy. It works on photos, videos, and documents. And the interface is pretty obvious with a drag and drop for the folders you want to review. From an easy review point of view, you can review by type and see the images to review in a simple list or icon view that you can quickly review and see all of your favorite photos. For auto marking, an algorithm does it all for you, or it's manual. So you can't influence the criteria that it uses to be able to mark your photos as duplicate. It just decides for you. To protect a folder, you have an ignore list, similar to Duke Guru and Duplicate Finder Pro, where there is a drawback of leaving duplicates elsewhere in your catalogue. The added extra that comes with Gemini 2 is the duplicate monitor that you can set up to constantly run on your computer to monitor duplicate files and alert you so you can keep your computer running efficiently. So if that is something that you are looking for, then that is definitely worth investigating. But I am not sure that makes up for the big drawback of the either constant investment or understanding you won't get upgrades. For me, this is what puts me off with other great options out there that you can invest in once and get program that will keep giving rather than having to fork out every time. Option five, Duplicate Cleaner five. So I finally have another Windows option and it is worth the wait. Duplicate Cleaner five or Duplicate Cleaner Pro as it used to be called, is the one to go for for a PC. It is not as cheap as some of the Mac options, but for me, it is totally worth it. It works on photos, videos, and audio files, as well as documents. The interface takes a little bit of getting used to, especially as it has changed recently. But once you get the hang of the fact that you need to move between tabs to be able to select what you want to do and then put the folders in, it is really easy to use. For reviewing, you can easily see your images that you are about to flag in a panel, and you can even play the videos from the tool to really make sure they are exactly the same, which I love. For auto marking capability, there is a good selection of what you can impact, but it's not as comprehensive as PhotoSweeper, but you can still influence the order that it takes each element into consideration, so nothing to be concerned about there. 
you can easily protect a folder when you add it in with a simple click on a little lock. So another tick in the great column. The challenge with Duplicate Cleaner 5 is that it can be a little bit slow to run, which may be a good thing because it's being really thorough. And in order to run for videos and photos and audio, you have to run separate scans, which is a little bit of a pain. But the added extra is that there is a tab where you can delete empty folders once you have done all your deleting of duplicates. How useful is that? This is my new favorite tool, even with the fact that you have to do some double running. The job it does is such a great one in finding duplicates, especially on videos, that it more than makes up for any challenges of having to run it a few times. So there you have it, the best duplicate photo removing software for both Mac and PC. Which are my favorites? Well, if it wasn't already obvious, for the Mac it's Photo Sweeper and for the PC it's Duplicate Cleaner 5. Both do a great job and once you get the hang of all the sea of settings on them both, you will love them too. If you need more help saving your photos, then as well as checking out all of the Save Your Photos Month mini classes, why not also head on over to my YouTube channel, Amanda Littlecott, the photo organizer, where I'm all about helping you preserve and share your precious photo and video memories without getting overwhelmed. If you need help organizing your photos, then you can also find a pro like me at the Photo Manager's website. Thank you for joining me. Enjoy rediscovering your memories.